Yo guys, what's up? It's Alex from GMG Studio. I got bored with the Android project and this is why you see me creating a new repository. This is for a new iOS project. We will show you how to build a really high quality iOS app. I have to create a new folder because we will use twist for project generation and I can't do it in the repository because it needs an empty folder. Gymlex is my own project and Gymlex YouTube is the own project I do for YouTube so I can separate them. We will use twist for project generation. We do not want to push the Xcode project. I really don't like if someone pushes a Xcode project because if you have merge conflicts this is going to be her. And if somebody like me pushes his own like stuff from Xcode, oh, it's so annoying. As you can see, I'm on Twist, the GitHub site, and I'm just running the terminal comments like curl to install Twist. Now I have to enter the password. And after I install Twist, we can just create the project like Twist init minus minus platform iOS. And as you can see, it will create the project. There are many folders, there is a git ignore and the project.swift. As you can see, there is no Xcode project. And this is basically what we want to achieve. If you run twist build, you can see twist will generate a new Xcode project for us. There's the Xcode project and the Xcode workspace. And as you can see, it's finished. And now I will delete them again. It was just for showcase. Now I will copy everything in this temp folder and paste it in the repository folder. Gemlex YouTube is the folder where I put in the repository. And I will replace all the files because we don't need the old ones. And now if you run twist generate, twist will generate the Xcode project and will open it for you. This is actually pretty nice. Now you can see the Xcode project. It's still called temp because the folder was named temp. We will change it. Just give me one minute. And as you can see, build succeeded. Now we will close it and we will just push it into our repository. Okay, now we can go into the project folder with CD and just drag and drop the project folder in it. And now we can delete the temp folder. We don't need it anymore. Now we can write twist edit so we can change our twist file. As you can see under manifest there's a project.swift file and now we can delete everything. We will just write a complete new one. But we will keep the project description. First of all we have to create a bundle id minus com.gmgstudio.ios.youtube.gymlex the version minus 0.0.1 the bundle version and minus one and I just use private let's because it's easier. Then we need the iOS target version. I use 16.0. The base path, this is where our Swift files will be and the resources minus targets slash gymlex. And then we will create a project with let project is equal to project and then we provide a name and I just use gymlex Packages, it's an empty array because we don't have one. Settings are settings.settings .settings .settings configuration, make configuration, and we will write this product func later. And now we create the targets. It's an array, and our first target is the iOS app. So we name it iOS, platform is iOS. The product is an app. The bundle ID is the bundle ID. We just use the variable we created earlier. The deployment target is iOS target version. You can see it on the screen. The info plist, we will write the func later, make info plist. The sources is an array with a base path slash sources slash star star. Same with the resources. The settings are the base settings. We will create the func later. Then we add additional files. And I just add the readme because I want to see the readme in the Xcode project. Now we can create a func make info plist and we could pass some mergings like other settings, but we don't need it currently. So this is why we are defaulting it. And this returns an info plist and we extend the info plist. 
with UI application, scene manifest, and we support multiple scenes. The launch screen is empty. The supported orientations, we just support portrait mode. The CF bundle short string, which is the version. The CF bundle version, which is the bundle version. The display name, I just write gym legs. And this is our info p list. And if we would have other things, we could iterate over it, but we don't need it at the moment. And then we can just return it. We we'll just write return info p list dot extend defaults with extended p list. Now we create the next func make configurations, which returns an array of configuration. We just use debug and release. We will create the config for the debug and release XC config later. And we return just the error of debug and release. And if you have more configurations, you can just extend the function. This is why I like to separate it into different functions. Then the last thing, the base settings, we just create a variable settings. And we just return the settings with the base settings and with the recommended ones. And basically we could just add like the app name variable which is gym legs and yes because we had gym legs two times and if I have something multiple times I like it to put it into variables now we go back into our folder targets and we can delete Tim temp kit and temp UI we can just delete it and we can rename temp to gymlex. Now you can see resources, sources, and tests. Next one, we have to create a configs folder. We just create a new folder. We just create the new folder and we name it configs. And then I will just go back to Xcode because it's easier to create new files there. You could also press command N to create the new file. And then I will just scroll down and create an empty file. And I will put it in the configs folder and I will call it debug.xcc xc config. <laughs> yeah, xc config, there are two C's. And for the start, I will only put app underscore display underscore name is equal to gymlex dev because it's the debug file and then we create a new file it's an empty file again and this will be the release file release.xc config and here the app display name is equal to gymlex because this is our release file and we have to put the release.xc config file in the configs folder because I saved it in the wrong place and why twist edit again? Because you have to change the CF bundle display name to dollar and then in the brackets app underscore display underscore name. So we use gymlex for release and gymlex dev for the debug. Now why twist generate to create the Xcode project. And now hit command R or the play button to run the app. No such module tempkit, we have to delete the imports and tempkit.hello and the other one. And now we can run it again. Build succeeded. And where is the, ah, here it is. Here are your iPhone. So you can see Jim Lake Steph for the debug one. By the way, and you have to select iOS instead of Gymlex workspace. Then edit scheme, we change to the release build configuration. And we run it again. Mm, now we can close it. And you can see it says Gymlex. If you have any questions, write us in the comments. See you in the next video. 
like the video if you liked the video dislike the video if you dislike the video subscribe if you want to be notified on our future content we are also on instagram and facebook feel free to follow us there as well and have a great day start creating stop consuming